Rico. Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, people. Are you there? Okay, thank you, Patricia, for letting me know that. This is President Melissa, right? So I'm going to take that into account. All right, about David. All right, perfect. So good evening to everybody, guys. Oh, welcome back to another video conference. It's 8.01. And we are going to start with, you know, like the class content. Mm. All right, looks like someone is asking about how is it going with the homework? So are you in your houses, guys? Is that in casa? Or are you still working or todavía están trabajando? It seems like nobody is answering. No sé si están ahí o what happened. Okay, so this is... And... You are right. So give me one second, guys. I'm just showing something. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, are you there? Para los que están conectados, están ahí. What happened people? I've been talking to myself. So I would like to know if you are there or what. No, okay, Gladys, thank you for letting me know that. All right, so we are going to start with the class. I'm going to start with the attendance list. Let me see. Darlene Jasmine. Mm, okay, I guess Darlene is not there. David Rodolfo, okay, so he's uh, sick. Then is Adonai. Okay, now there. Fatima Daniela. Yes, and teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Patricia Gabriela. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Herbert Vidal. Okay, so Herbert is now here. 
Gladys, Teresita. Okay, so she's saying that he's sick. Okay, um, Jose Roberto. Okay, not here. Juana Hazel. No, please, it's not here. Julia Janira. All right, so it's not here. Uh, Kelly Marcela. No, okay, not here. Mm, Crisia Vanessa. All right, so Chris is not here. Manuel Jose. Hmm. Not even Manuel. Okay. Marvin Obed. Okay. It's not here. Mauricio Giovanni. All right. So he said that he was at work, apparently. Miguel Angel. Okay, so it's not here. Moises Alberto. Okay, so most of the people... I'm here, but I'll be <laughs> right here as a listener, sorry. Uh, come on, I didn't see the, the logo that you got on your... <laughs> on your uh, screen, so I thought you were not there. All right. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> okay, cool. Natalie Andrea... Let me see. Natalie's not here yet. Norma Maritza. Present. Okay, great. Ruth Noemi. Present. Okay, good. Tamara Lisset. Okay, so Tamara's not here yet. Walter Antonio. Hi, teacher. Hi, mister. How's everything? Uh, to me, I, I, I had to drive from San Salvador yesterday. I know can the lawyer to class. Ah, okay. Right now, it's already well, All more, right. than <laughs> more than perfect, mister. That is great. Yeah. That is great. So just give me a second. I got a couple of your classmates that are not here. Okay, great. Okay, so let's move on. Let me see. And we got the last one, William Alexander, which is not here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this this? Okay, so Hazel, I guess you're sick, so that's the reason why you couldn't speak. All right. Great, guys. So, how was your day, guys? Bueno, para la mayoría, supongo, right? Today was the last day um, of, uh, you know, of work. So, I guess you're going to be enjoying your weekend tomorrow, doing other kind of activities, right? And I guess there are, like, just few people, right? Who work tomorrow? Okay, great. So, in general, guys, how was your day? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Para muchos ya es el último día de la semana de trabajo. So, I guess you're like, ah, kind of tired, but happy because your weekend starts. So, ¿qué tal, guys? ¿Qué cuentan? Let's start talking a little bit about that. Como que ahora no quiere hablar nadie. What happened, guys? Hi, teacher. Hi. Javi, Javi, teacher. Only one. <laughs> Heavy teacher. But the Heavy. 
the weekend weekend um I am sleeping more or less. <laughs> I mean, a little I little, little happy reading. Um, um, that's drink, nice. Beer, 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 so so much, so much, <laughs> and dancing. <laughs> um, and that's, <laughs> that's cool, man. I I would like to do the same, but I work the whole day on Saturday, so I just got uh Sunday, uh off. Oh. That's the only day that I don't work. <laughs> so tomorrow oh. I gotta work like more than eight hours. Ah, so that's tiring. But, <laughs> Lucky you, man, that you you are not going to work and you are going to have a relaxing weekend. That is excellent. That's super nice. You know, I, I don't know that the working tomorrow. I only uh, um uh after um uh, Monday. Yeah. I mean that is oh, nice. Oh, oh. See, that is... Sunday <laughs> soon. <laughs> uh -huh. I mean that is that is nice. That is nice. All right, so give me one second. Okay. All right, so in that case, enjoy it, enjoy it, because we don't have that much time on that, right? Okay, so what about the other ones? Y los demás? So Good how night, was your day, guys? Teacher. Hi, Herbert. How's everything? Hi, teacher. Yeah, hello. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo le va? No time without Aquí seeing you. Apenas cenando, pero aquí estoy. Jesus, you're still at work, right? So you are on your shift. Correct? In the work. Yeah, todavía está de turno. Yes. Jesus. Eh, hasta mañana. ¿A poco va de 24 horas o something like that? Sí. Sí, voy hasta mañana a las 7. Jesus, that's a long, a long Pero, time. estamos, teacher, ahí. No importa cool. el inglés. <laughs> okay, perfect, yes. perfect. Okay, great. Thank you for getting connected. Thank you. Okay, great. So, Norma, how was your day, Norma? I don't know if it is my imagination, but you look tired. <laughs> yes. No. I'm fine. Okay. Very, very busy in, in this day. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, I guess you got a lot of work, right, to do. And besides that, when you get to your house, you got extra job in your house, I guess. Uh... Oh, sí. <laughs> es, es otro... Otro trabajo, realmente. Uno de al de la oficina, pero llego a casa y la de nunca terminar. <ríe> de repente mm. le digo al niño, bye, ya no estoy, me voy. <ríe> Para... Oh, my God, I can't tell. Pero, sí. uh, it happens, right? Suele pasar, right? Okay, that's, that's good. That's cool. All right, guys. Uh, if you remember yesterday... Uh, we were working, right, on a couple of exercises on, uh, let me see, on the manual, right? So I remember you were completing a couple of activities. You were creating questions on the last page of the manual, but we did not check that information, right? We just did it. Si recuerdan, no revisamos la información, las actividades que estuvimos haciendo, right? Simple, eh, simplemente las completamos, right? So it was basically related to the main topics that we discussed throughout week number two, right? So let's remember tonight we are starting with week number three. So basically... This week and the following one, and we finish module number one. So, oh, time flies, guys. El tiempo va volando super rápido. Right? So, we just started the module and just imagine we're about to finish. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. So, but let's start with that, guys. Uh, we're going to be uh, checking the information that we uh, did yesterday and then we are going to start 
with you know like the class content that we got for tonight all right so just give me one second i'm gonna share this okay if you remember guys uh this activity from page 22 was the first activity that we were doing yesterday right specifically uh the part five where it says complete the sentences with the verbs in parentheses if you remember we did this one before we started working right in which it says he and you got a parentheses order and then you got everything in the office right so if you remember guys in here what you got with s orders right orders and you got he orders everything in the office so this is the way how you get it right good now what about the second one house number two como les quedo la numero dos where it says amy and teresa what in this case it is amy and teresa asked like this Yes, for the signatures every Friday. Mm, ok, perfect, very good. Recordemos que acá estamos hablando de dos personas, right? So that is a plural. So in that case, the verb remains the same. Entonces el verbo permanece en forma original, right? So this is the way how you get it there. That's correct. Now, what about number three, guys? Can somebody help me out doing number three? How is it? Does it go? Let me see. Helen, oops, does, doesn't, actually doesn't go like this? Yeah, teacher. Okay, very good. If you got it like this, it is correct, guys. This is the way how you got it. Helen doesn't call the design department on weekends. Why? Recordemos que aquí estamos hablando de un singular, right? En este caso, Helen. That's a singular one. Y luego tenemos doesn't, puesto que la oración es negativa, right? And we need the auxiliary verb in that case. Y como ya el auxiliar va modificado, what happened with the main verb? No necesitamos modificación en el verbo, right? Sino que simple y sencillamente queda en forma original. That's the way. Good. Now, let's jump on to the next one. Uh, let me see. Kelly, can you help me out reading how is number four? ¿Cómo le quedó la número cuatro? Good evening, teacher. Uh, she, uh, she cleans... Her desk in the morning. Give me one second. Eh, sí, se le modificó con la S. Like this? Sí. Okay, yes. perfect. Perfect. That's the way. She cleans our desks in the morning. Very good. ¿Por qué se modifica? Porque estamos hablando de ella, right? Ella. So that's a singular form. So let's remember that, guys. That's the reason why. Okay, now we got the next one. Aquí no sé por qué tiene uno y uno. It shouldn't be like, it should be like five and six. But anyways, no problem. Now, Tamara. What goes here, Tamara? Hi. Hello. Bueno, nosotros nos quedó I write I at least with a thing with need at 9 a.m. Okay, so the verb in original form, right? In base form. Okay, excellent. So this is the way how it goes over here, right? I write a list with the things 
we need at 9 a.m. Okay, that's nice. So this is the way how you get it. Perfect, guys. Now, what's the next one? Any volunteer who tell me what's the last one? Doesn't keep. Hi. Uh -huh. Mario doesn't keep. Ladies? Okay, very good. Mario doesn't keep a record of the merchandise or merchandise he buys. Exactly. Buys. You just include the S over here, right? Very good, guys. This is the way how you got this one. Okay, this is la, fan, la forma. ¿En cómo les queda esta parte? Okay, very good. So basically, I told you guys just to finish this one, right? And then move on to the next series of activities on the next pages. Okay, now. Let's go down, let's go down. Okay, good. Vamos a leer esta parte. If you remember, this was the second part that I asked you guys to do, right? And the first part, you got Oneida Chicas and Nelly Pineda's information. And in the other hand, you got, I mean, in the other side, you got Ricardo Mata and Max Pinto information, right? Good. So let's start with the information uh, of Oneida Chicas and Nelly Pineda. Uh, Walter, help me out reading uh, where it says do. Léame esta parte. Ah, ok. On, oh, on a, ah, creative software. Repair computers. Software. computers uh -huh. re, repair compor, computers. Uh, install antivirus. 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 Very good. Antivirus. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right. So remember, create software. Crean create software. Create software. Right? Uh -huh. Good. Repair computers, reparan computadoras, right? And install antivirus. Antivirus. Exactly. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Very nice. So those one are the one, all right, or the activities that these people do. Now, what are the activities that these people don't do? Uh, let me see. <laughs> All right, these people is saying that. Dennis, tell me already. The don't. Oh, sorry, teacher. Tell me reading the examples where it says don't from Oneida and Nelly. Okay, um, Oneida, Chicas, and Nelly Pineda don't sell computer programs and exchange information about programs. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So check this out, guys. It says sell computer programs. So this is one of the activities that they don't do. Esto es lo que ellos, ellos no hacen, right? So in this case, sell computer programs and exchange information about programs. Intercambiar información. Sobre programas, right? Good. Now, let's read information about Ricardo Mata and Max Pinto. Okay, let's read the do part. Let me see who can help me out with this. Jesus Christ, there are very few people here. Okay. Um... Ruth, help me read in the two uh, activities. Ricardo Mata, do. Is it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep tracks. Um, keep track on the cells. Okay. Write reports. Perfect. Buy new Merchan merchandise. Merchandise. 
merchandise. Okay, very good. Yeah, that's the way. Thank you. All right, so it says keep track of the sales, right? So what do you think is that? ¿A qué creen que se refiere esa parte? Keep track on the sales. What do you think is that, guys? ¿Qué creen que es esa parte? Keep es como mantener algo así, va. Exactly. On track. Ahí sí le quedó mal, profe. <laughs> All right. Como el seguimiento de las ventas. Exactly, mm -hmm. es como llevar un seguimiento, right? Sí, de las eso. ventas. No. Exactly, that's the way. Ok, como, right. ¿Ah? Como que va tomando como el, el tracking, es decir, el, el comportamiento de las ventas. En... Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Llevar un registro de ventas, right? That's what it is. And then you got write reports, escribir reportes, buy new merchandise, uh, compra nueva mercadería, right? So that's what they do. Ahora, don't, the don't part, lo que no hacen. Kelly? Read, please. Ahorita, ven. Receive money from sales, decide mm -hmm. what to buy. Very good. Receive money from sales, recibir dinero, right? Debe las ventas and decide what to buy y decidir qué comprar. So in that case, that's what they don't do, correct? Ahora bien, ¿qué tenemos acá abajo? Bueno, questions related to that. Ahora bien, dice la primera, do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? What do you have there, guys? ¿Qué tienen ahí ustedes? Yes, they, yes, they do. Ah, okay. Okay, so in this case, yes, they do. Okay, very good. So you got it here, right? All right, number two, it says, do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? No, they don't. No, they don't. They don't sell antivirus? Okay. So, if you got, no, they don't. All right. And then you got number three. It says, do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? No, they don't. No, they don't. All right. Very good. No, they don't. Okay. You got it like this. And number four, do Ricardo and Max write reports? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay. <laughs> y la número cuatro punto cero. <laughs> no sé por qué tiene cuatro y cuatro. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Do Ricardo and Max repair computers? No, they don't. Mm -hmm. No, they okay. don't. Okay, and the last one. Do Oneida and Nelly install programs? Yes, they do, tenemos nosotros. Nosotros la pusimos, no, they don't. <laughs> okay, <laughs> vamos a ver esa parte. Dice, do Oneida and Nelly install programs? Vamos a ver esa parte, entonces. Es que teníamos la duda en que si el virus es un programa. Ajá. Uh -huh. Así me dijo también Natalie. Pero, pero como dice antivirus, y si sí, ese es un programa. Ajá. Uh -huh. yeah. Ok, es el término. Ok, entonces, yes. Antivirus, ya. Yeah, yes, yes, they, they, they do. That's correct, that's correct. Ok, entonces acá le vamos a poner Yes, yes they do. Ok. Ok, y les quedaría así. Right? Ok, ya yeah, I mean, they install programs. Ok, very nice. Now, let's move on to the next one. Vámonos a la siguiente. And it was the last one, right? 
we just did this part we just did the other parts right and we are going to focus on here acá bueno tienen preguntas diferentes right so vamos a hacer un par de preguntitas sobre qué pusieron acá ok so in this case Uh, Ruth, what did you and your group write in number one? Teacher, se me dijo que salió el, el programa esa parte que no la hice. Ah, I man, that's true. Es cierto. Traté de, 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 de ver si se podía conectar de nuevo, pero aparentemente como que tuvo inconvenientes, ¿correcto? Sí, sí. Ah, okay, okay, good. All right, so I'm gonna ask. Cool. Hazel is sick. Mauricio is not there. Darling is sick. Uh, Dennis, what do you have in number one? Um, let let me let me check let me check my. <laughs> okay. Uh, book. Um, okay, in this case, the number one for me is um, does darling go to the cinema on weekends? The answer is yes, she does. Does darling Come to cinema on weekends. Like this, right? Okay. Yes. Does Darling come to the cinema on weekends? Okay. The answer you said? Yes. Yes, she does. Okay, very good. It can be like that. All right, perfect. Uh, Dennis, escoja uno de sus compañeros que me ayude con el número dos, please. Um... Um, Norma Portillo. Ah, okay. Good. Norma. Hello. Nosotros la hicimos. Um, <laughs> do you play? Do you play soft, softball? Softball? And. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Okay, very good. Easy as that. There you go, Nerma. Choose the next uh the next one to help me out with uh the next question, please. Tamara. All right, Tamara. Help me out reading number three. Eh, la número tres la hicimos do we check to practice yes we do do we do we check to practice Like this? Yes. I see. Mm, acá vamos a hacer una pequeña modificación. En vez de to, agreguémosle de. Para que así la palabra sí, practice ya. se convierta en nombre y no verbo. Sí. Ok. Ok. All right, perfect. And what was the answer? Uh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay, very good. Lo tomaron como algo personal, right? Something that belongs to you. Okay, excellent. And who's going to tell me the last one? Uh, Tamara? Mm, Walter? 
A Walter se la vamos a perdonar porque Walter no estuvo ayer, así que yeah, it's gonna be like a little bit last, right? Eh, Mauricio, no sé si Mauricio está conectado. Eh, apparently he is still uh, working. Se supone que todavía está en su no. trabajo. Eh, ay, no sé, <ríe> no sé, teacher. Yo ya sé a quién va a escoger usted, eh, pero. ¿A quién? A, ver. ¿A quién voy a escoger, teacher? <ríe> mm. Vea su pantalla ahí y me diga. Alguien que se acaba de conectar, por cierto. Ah, en la parte de arriba de su teléfono o de su computadora tiene como... Uno, una sección de cuadritos, ahí puede cambiar la vista de su de su ordenador. No me que se salió. <ríe> se salió. <ríe> Ay, no, creo que le apreté el equivocado. Se salió. <ríe> Cristian, help me out with the last one. <ríe> se nos salió, Tamara. Sí, sí, sí. Eh, sería. Espera que le encuentre la página. Ok, it's page 28. <laughs> Does uh, Darling cook the dinner? No, ok, cool. The answer? La respuesta es no, she does. Ok, very good. No, she doesn't. And that's the way how you got it, right? Very good, guys. Right. Lo que acá interesa es, recuerden, seguir el debido proceso, ok, con relación a los auxiliares y al subject, right, y a la forma adecuada del verbo. If you got it like this, so it means it is correct, guys. Ok. Very good. So that was related to, right, uh, the activity that we uh, were missing checking yesterday. Ah, Tamara, you're back. Ya regresó. Y yo dije, bueno, ¿qué pasó, Tamara? En vez de darle al botoncito de vista, le dio al de dejar reunión. <laughs> sí, no, listen, I'm gonna, I'm sorry, no, listen, I'm gonna show you, si están desde una computadora y quieren cambiar el sistema, bueno, la vista de su pantalla, miren, en esta parte, oh, give me one second, what happened, no, no se puede, auto ver la parte esa, ah, all right, pero en la esquina superior derecha, les aparece como un pequeño mosaico y dice ver, no sé, eh, a mí me parece view en English. Si le dan clic ahí va a aparecer, les va a desplegar como una pequeña eh, secuencia de formas de vistas que pueden tener. Si la ponen en vista de galería, gallery view, eh, es mejor porque pueden ver a todos sus compañeros, right? On a single row, right? That's just, just in case, right? You, you want to change that part. Ok, great. No Now, we are going Gracias, to continue. Ok, no problem. We're going to continue with uh, what we are going to be doing tonight. Remember, guys, that we are starting uh, week number three, right? Tonight, we are starting week number three. So, if you remember the past classes, We were discussing the positive statements, negative statements, using the simple present, and the just no questions, right? Bueno, ahora el tema que vamos a discutir es information questions and answers. All right, let's 
information questions and answers. That's the topic that we are going to be discussing tonight, guys. Okay. And when you hear this kind of topics, what do you uh, think about, guys? ¿De qué creen que se trata este tema? ¿Qué tiene esto de diferente con el tema que hemos estado viendo de las yes, no questions? Porque igual estas son preguntas. ¿Pero qué creen ustedes que tiene de diferente? Right. Information dice. Uh -huh. Vamos uh -huh. a ver reglas, uh, quizás. Eh, mm. Yeah, yeah, of course. Rules. Yeah, exactly. Vamos a ver reglas, vamos a ver cierta parte de teoría, right? Pero una de las diferencias significativas entre este tipo de preguntas y las que estuvimos practicando la semana número dos es que Thank you Gladys. Yeah, que aquí incluimos las famosas WH words. ¿A qué se refiere con WH words? Es cuando incluimos las palabras como what, where, when, why, who, right, which. How. So, entonces acá ya son preguntas informativas las que se hacen, right? Que acá, pues obviamente no va a responder con yes and no, sino que tiene que dar, tiene que proveer información adicional. Ok, good. Y me gustaría saber quién es este usuario, este estudiante que solo se puso oyente y no se puso el nombre. <risa> Ok, se so, suponer que se le olvidó. Ok, so, let's continue, guys, on this. Ok, check this out. So, what do we got for the class agenda? We're going to have a short review from the last topics, que es algo que acabamos de eh, tener, right? Un short review, un pequeño repaso sobre lo que estuvimos viendo la clase pasada sobre los temas anteriores. And now we are going to start with a short vocabulary related to the different departments in a company, right? Luego vamos a tener una short introduction a las WH questions. Y luego vamos a practicar, right? We're going to practice information questions and answers. Van a darme una serie de ejemplos con relación a este tipo de estructura. Y al final vamos a tener una pequeña actividad y a trabajar en el manual, right? So that's the most relevant that we have for the rest of the class. Now, let's start over. Let's start with a short vocabulary practice, guys. Okay, and the first word that we got over here is production, right? Production. So, ¿qué entienden por esta palabra? Production. ¿A qué creen que se refiere, guys? Producción. Okay, very good. Se refiere a Producción, right? So, we got a short definition related to that word. Okay, and we got it like this. Check this one out. Uh, Herbert, are you there? Can you please help me out reading uh, the definition of production? Please. Se nos congeló Herbert, creo. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, let me see. Who else is in here? Na, 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 na. Walter, tell me a reading, please. I reading, teacher. Control What? and super, control and supervise the production were filed in the inventory. All right. Thank you, mister. It says control and supervise the production workforce 
and inventory. And inventory. Okay, what it says. Que controla y supervisa, dice. Que la, la producción, la right? Uh, what is for workforce? ¿Qué entendemos por workforce? Por for eh, como lo producido, ajá, como lo producido. Mm, en este caso workforce se refiere a la a, la, a lo laboral, a la fuerza laboral, right? Ajá. Los trabajadores, ajá. Right? ¿Cuánto producen? Como fuerza de trabajo, ajá. Exactly. And inventory. Y los inventarios inventario. que tiene. Exactly. Ajá. Very good. Entonces, correcto, por ahí. Corre, corre. Es <laughs> So, de eso se encarga, ¿qué? The production department. Son, Básicamente, uh -huh. hay muchas empresas tienen este, eh, que, que es un departamento, right? Uh -huh. Departamento de producción. Uh -huh. It goes like that. All right. Now, the second one, it says research and development. Research and development. Esto es como de investigación y desarrollo. desarrollo. Exactly. All right. Norma, help me out reading the definition, please. Okay. Um, develop. De develop. 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 develop uh -huh. Design new or improve existing, existing products or processes. 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 Okay, very good, Norma. Thank you. It says develop, all right, desarrolla, design, yeah. right, design. diseña, design. new or improve existing products, dice. Diseña nuevos o mejora productos existentes, dice. Or processes, or, or processes, right? That's what it talks about, this part, guys. And then we have purchasing purchasing that's the pronunciation of this word all right what do you think it's purchasing guys a quien creen que se refiere con purchasing compras exactly very good thank you Moy. yeah in this case purchasing means compras okay that's what it is about. And then we got a short definition about it. Julia, are you there, Julia? Are you home already? Can you participate? Teacher. Hello. Por portion. Eh, eh. Uh, to say in Spanish is como unidad de adquisiciones y compras. Which one? Uh, por por change, por change, purchasing. Uh, purchasing. Purchasing. Um, compras. Purchasing. Compras. Adquisiciones. Uh -huh. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, That's what it talks about. Perfect. All right. Yeah. Very good. So let me see somebody who can help me out reading this part. I don't have very many, many people to choose from me here. So, Fatima, are you there? Um, boy, uh, boy, I, I don't know how to pronounce Okay, <laughs> okay. Buy and acquire. Buy and acquire. Uh -huh. Raw material. Raw material. Raw, uh -huh. raw material. Uh -huh. Production. Equipment. E equip equipment. Equipment. For Perfect. the use. For the use. Of the uh -huh. For the use of the, of the organi organization. Organi Organization. Okay, excellent. Organ There you go. Organization. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, Fatima. So that's the way. So what is this about? It says buy and acquire raw material. Compra y adquiere materia prima. Raw material se refiere a materia prima. Okay, a producto en bruto. 
And then it says production equipment, right? Equipo de producción, etc. Right? For the use of the organization, para el uso de la organización, right? O en este caso de la empresa, right? That's what it is about. And then we got the marketing area, right? Or marketing, in this case, department, okay? So we got this one over here. So let me see who can help me out with this. Dun, dun, dun. Moises, can you participate now? Thank you. Something related to my profession. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, research and, ident and identify what customers want and need at the right place. <laughs> All right, basically. Thank you. All right. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. It says research and identify, right? Uh, investiga e identifica what customers want and need. Lo que los clientes quieren y necesitan. All right at the right place, en el lugar adecuado. That's yeah, what it says. By the way, I'm an international marketer, so I love marketing. <laughs> ah, really? That is yeah. cool, man. That is nice. That's great. So you know how, how to identify customers and everything? Uh, yes. I'm, yes, I mean... First of all, you have to do a research, and but not as it says in this um, vocabulary. But you have to, yeah. I mean, I identify it and to start some like um, como se dice nucleos, como a uh, target, target. Mm -hmm. You gotta have a target to study. So every everybody is like uh so different and so the strategics is all of them are going are gonna be like different and and on point with the status status. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> I will I and will like uh-huh I will put you this situation Moises just imagine I want to run or start a store okay Let's say a grocery store, okay? But I I live in the middle of a, of a block, okay? But on the corner of the same block, there's one store already. And one block away, it's another store. Do you think it is convenient for me to, to run a store? It depends on your needings. Mm. And what uh <laughs> and what what I how, how can I say this? Y qué es lo que ofrece pues cada una de estas tiendas? Porque uh, I mean the experience in, in each of in each in each one of these stores, I mean every 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 um uh manager marketing manager has the, its its own strategies strategy mm -hmm. strategies strategies yeah but it depends on your needings i mean <clears throat> that's why i told you that every every like brand has its own target so the target of pepsi is not the same as the target of coca cola you can notice that because some of them loves Pepsi over Coca-Cola. And some of us may think that Coca-Cola is the best one. <laughs> That's so, true. Yeah. Yeah. So it depends on the meetings, it depends on the, um, of all the people, I mean. Look mm -hmm. to the guy again. So. Exactly. Because I was planning on a studying and running on a small convenience store in which I should sell refrescos and all that thing. Right, thanks for the mm -hmm. home and everything. But right on the corner, there's one already. Put a brand on it. What you I have to design like... a brand first. You have to think of the brand first because mm -hmm. you are not going to sell a, a, a refresco. You are going to sell something that will impact their lives. So this is not just a, a refresh, uh, what, lemonade. 
this is something mm-hmm. that will help you through the through through your whole day and to feel like very cool and to recover all of your energies and so okay yeah like, like, <laughs> you know oh, what i mean the best the coffee in the morning the coffee in the morning yeah the in best the drink night, is in, coffee in the night, uh, every single in the drink and beers or, or, or whiskey <laughs> here to the freaking weekend <laughs> That's too early for a beer, brother, but okay. I don't want to be right now, I mean, I, but okay. <laughs> okay, great, great. Jesus. That's nice. Good evening. Hi, you wild. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. All right, that's cool, that's cool. Okay, great. So that was Thank, related yeah. to marketing, right? All right. Thank you, Moy. Now, let's move on to the next one. Human Resources Management or Department. <laughs> that one is a good one, right? So because all your complaints are going there and everything goes there. If you are going to get hired in a company, it goes there. If you are going to get fired in a company, you got to get through that, right? Hmm. Ah. Human resources management. So let's read a little bit about that. Uh, let me see. Crisia, help me a reading, please. And the first yeah. word is recruit. Human resource manager. No sé okay. Recruit, select. Uh-huh. Because and train, recruit, select, and train new employees. Um, employees for the right job in the company. Okay, there you go. Very good. Thank you. So just give me one second. Your classmate got issues to get connected. Uh, give me one second. Very apparently he, he got issues with the internet or something like that. Okay, it says human resources management. Recruit. What is recruit? Recluta, right? Select and train new employees. Selecciona y capacita, right? Nuevos empleados for the right job on the company. Para el trabajo adecuado, right? O requerido. In la empresa. Just to put it this way. Jesus Christ. A lot of people are missing. Okay. Now, let's move on on this. Accounting and finance. ¿Hay alguien que trabaja en ese rubro acá? Accounting and finance? Yeah. It's... Okay. You like numbers, man. You must like numbers. Okay, that's great, Julia. Numbers and me, we don't get along, man. We are divorced. All right, but that's cool. Nada más por eso, Julia, ayúdeme a leer. Ese es su ámbito. <laughs> Dice, accounting and finance. Kick the financing record of transactions involving monetary. Inflows and outflows. Inflows and outflows. Right? Very good. Thank you. Thank you. So what it says there, keep the financial record, right? Of transactions, right? O sea, que mantiene un seguimiento de los, de los el record, right? Financiero y las transacciones, right? Que incluye, dice, monetary inflows and outflows. ¿Qué son esos? Las entradas, sí. Salidas de money, right? Entradas y salidas. Exactly. Okay, very good. So that's accounting and finance. Yes, that's crazy. I know about a friend, right? I got a friend who is an accountant. 
and he was working in a city hall <laughs> like a couple of years ago and he was serving as um what was his position in there I don't remember his position, but the thing is that he was in the finance area on the city hall. And on his first day that he entered, <laughs> at the end of the day, he was missing $80 uh, from the cash flow, you know, and everything. And he has and he had to to use his own money to, you know, like put that money on there, right? Because apparently. Uh, some people did some movements <laughs> and that money never went into the city hall. <laughs> I mean, that's why I, I consider this, this, this area like really, really, uh, but difficult sometimes because you got to deal with money and everything. And if money is missing, you have to replace the missing money. <laughs> that's a little bit complicated sometimes. Okay, good. So basically, that uh, was the short vocabulary related to uh, the different department areas, we can say like this, inside a company, right? Now, let's move on the grammar part that we are going to be, you know, like talking. Information questions. Okay. As always, remember, we got a structure, right? Para todo, iniciamos con una estructura gramatical. Es como una fórmula, ¿ok? Que por lo general tenemos que seguir si queremos crear, ¿ok? O preguntas de manera adecuada. Just to put it this way. And we got this over here, guys. Check this out. We got the question words. A eso se refiere a... Las famosas WH words que les mencionaba al inicio. ¿Cuáles son esas? What, what time, where, when, why, who, right? Those ones. Plus, an auxiliary verb. Luego de eso, colocamos un verbo auxiliar. ¿Cuál es el verbo auxiliar que hemos estado trabajando? Do. Exactly, thank you. Do. And does in tercera persona, right? Very good. And then after the auxiliary verb, what goes there? It goes the subject. Recuerden que cuando nos referimos al subject, puede ser un pronombre como I, you, he, she, right? It, we, you, they, o puede ser un nombre propio, like Crisia, Walter, Norma, Darling, right? Like a proper noun. After the subject, what do you have there, guys? You got the main verb. In this case, el verbo principal. ¿Y cómo va a ir el verbo principal? En modo base. O sea, en su forma original. Sin sufrir ningún tipo de modificación, aunque nos refiramos a una tercera persona. Okay? And at the end, we're going to have a complement. Bueno, al final tenemos un complemento. Right? So in that case, recuerden que el complemento nos sirve para hacer la pregunta, en este caso más específica. Okay, good. Now, check this question out. Y aquí tenemos un ejemplo de pregunta. Where do you study English? Where do you study English? Donde estudias inglés. Right? That's what it means. Entonces, en este tipo de preguntas, ya no vamos a responder con yes, I do, y no, I don't. Right? ¿Por qué? Porque aquí nos están pidiendo información adicional. Entonces, ¿y cuál es la clave? ¿Cuál es? ¿Qué es lo que nos están pidiendo ahí? Un lugar. Right? Wow. Esa es la clave. Nos están pidiendo un lugar donde se desarrolla una acción. ¿Y cuál es la acción? Study English. Study English, exactly. Very good. So, the common answer in here, podemos colocarlo de esta manera. 
I study English in the school. Uh, estudio inglés en la escuela. I study English in... In what? Any other place? <laughs> in ENSA for online courses, for example, right? So that might be another way. Okay, there you go. So remember, dependiendo de la WH word que tengamos al inicio de la pregunta, así va a ser la información que nosotros coloquemos en la respuesta. Just keep that on mind, guys, okay? Perfect. Have you written in, have you written down this? ¿Ya lo escribieron? Ok, cool. Let's move. Introduction to WS question. Bueno, aquí ya las vamos a ver de modo individual. Y vamos a comenzar con la primera. What? Right? Manuel, help me reading the question, please. Ayúdeme a leer la pregunta. Ahorita, teacher. Uh, what do you do? What do you no. do? Okay, very good. What do you do? do. Okay. What do you do? Okay, excellent. Now, the next question, uh, Tamara. Where? Where do you work? Okay, very good. Where do you work, right? It's just like, ¿dónde trabajas? Okay, nice. Norma. Um, is uh when mm -hmm. when do you play the guitar? Okay, thank you. When do you play the guitar? Right. Very good. We got the next one here. Mm -hmm. Kelly. Why? Why do you need help? Okay, very good. That's like, why do you need help? ¿Por qué necesitas ayuda? Right? Now using who. Uh, let me see. Mm, Fatima Daniela. Uh, what do you work with? All right, great. Who? I oh, know this case is who. Who do you work who, with? Who do you work with? With, okay, very good. With. With, uh -huh. This is like, who do you work with? Con quien trabajas, right? Con quien trabajas. And then you get a question with how, right? How? All right, let me see, Walter. How do you do? How do you they plan the marketing? All right, how do they? How do, how do they plan mm -hmm. the marketing? Okay. Plan the marketing. Huh? Plan the marketing. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. How do they plan the marketing? Right. Ah, como planean ellos el, you know, like pull up publicidad, right? El mercadeo, all that crap. Mercadeo, huh? There you go. Okay, guys. So this is how you start a, listen up, a question asking about some specific pieces of information, okay? Good. Now, we're going to give a couple of answers to these questions. Bueno, más adelante les tengo estas preguntas, solo que ya con una oración, right, como respuesta. And uh, let me see the last part. Grisia, let me read this one. What time? What time do you start working? 
Okay, very good. What time do you start working? It's like, ah, ¿a qué horas comienzas a trabajar? Right? That's what it means there. What time do you start working? Okay, perfect. Now, let's try to move on. Okay, now, vamos a ver una pequeña respuesta a cada una de esas preguntas que hemos visto ahorita. What do you do? Tamara. Tamara, help me a reading. ¿Cómo? Es como, ¿cómo estás? Como ah. una manera informal de, de cómo estás. Ah, no, no, no. La pregunta se puede entender de dos, de dos, desde dos perspectivas. What do you do? La primera se refiere a qué hace con, o sea, a qué se dedica. ¿Ok? Ahí podemos mencionar ah. más que todo la profesión que nosotros ejercemos. ¿Correct? Y también a que básicamente nos dedicamos todos los días. Por eso acá la respuesta dice, a ver, léame la cámara. I teach English every day. Every night. <laughs> every night. Ok, very good. All right. Es como, ah, enseño inglés cada noche. Right? Mm. That's what it means. Entonces es una de las actividades, por así decirlo. A las que yo me dedico todas las noches. Ok. So this is the way how you got it there. Ok. Recuerden. Dependiendo. Cuando tengan una pregunta con what. Y el verbo principal. Sea do. Ustedes son libres de escoger el verbo. Que van a utilizar en la respuesta. Ok. El verbo tiene que ir de acorde a. ¿A qué? A la actividad de la que ustedes van a estar hablando. ¿Ok? En este caso, por eso dice acá, I teach English every night. Every night right? Ah, enseño inglés todas las noches. Ustedes pueden decir, I go to work every day. Right? So, entonces, like, it will depend on the situation that you mentioned. Va a depender de la situación en la que mencionemos. Now, the second question. Na, 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 na. Manuel, help me reading the question and the answer, please. Ta, ta, ta. Se me mojó el cel. What happened with your cell phone, Manuel? ¿Qué le pasó al celular? Ok Dice Manuel que se le mojó el celular Y que Norma me lea la pregunta Ya sabía Where do you work? <laughs> ok Where do you work? All right, the answer The answer is I work in San Miguel In finance department finance? Finance department in Metro Centro, etc. Etc. Right. Thank you, Norma. Ok. Great. It says, guys. Aquí, en este tipo de pregunta, tenemos una variedad de formas de poder responder. Una de ellas es como, ah, I mean, ¿dónde trabajas? I work in San Miguel. I work in Santa Ana. I work in the city hall. I work in uh, San Salvador. Podemos mencionar departamento. Podemos mencionar el municipio. Donde trabajamos, mm, está muy raro los municipios. Eh, podemos mencionar el área de la empresa donde trabajamos, por eso ponemos ahí en Finance Department, o eh, la empresa en específico, por ejemplo, y Metro Centro. Just put it this way, right? As an example. O you might say, I mean, I work in what? In Bimbo, I work in Claro, I work in Tigo, whatever place you can mention, right? Entonces, ahí va a depender de qué tan específico usted quiere ser en su respuesta. All right. Now, the next one. 
who is missing to participate? We got very few people here, but anyways, Moises, help me read. Okay. <laughs> Where do you play the guitar? Mm -hmm. I play the guitar three times a week. Okay. Oh. I play the guitar when I have time. Okay, very good. Thank you, Moises. Entonces, en esta parte acá, guys, lo que podemos hacer es que cuando tengamos una pregunta con Juan, podemos mencionar las veces en las que nosotros hacemos esa actividad o también podemos tomarla como una situación. ¿Ok? When a situation happens. ¿Cómo así? Ah, when do you play the guitar? ¿Cuándo tocas la guitarra? I mean, I play the guitar when I have time. Ah, toco la guitarra cuando tengo tiempo. Right? Entonces, ahí estamos incurriendo en una situación. Right? Aquí en específico, en esta situación es que pasa esto. Right? Good. Now we got the next one. Let me see. Dennis, help me read. Why do you need help? Okay, thank you. Why do you need help? Good. The answer? Um, I need help because um, I don't prefer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right. And I will have read that one. It says, I need help because I have a lot of work. Ah, necesito ayuda <laughs> porque tengo mucho trabajo. Right? Entonces, yes. recuerden, preguntas con why. Entonces, nosotros, ¿qué debemos de dar ahí o proveer? La razón del por qué esa acción está pasando o pasa. Ok. Good. Entonces... <laughs> Si yo les pregunto, why do you need to practice English? Why do you need to practice English? ¿Qué me dirían ustedes? To improve our pronunciation. Exactly. <laughs> I need to practice English to improve my or our pronunciation. There you go. It goes that way. Nice. Now, guys, we got the next one. Dun, dun, dun. Let's try to Kelly. Kelly, are you there? I, uh, who, do, who do you work with? Okay, very good. I work... Uh, I work with my co-workers. 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 No co, sino co-workers. Ah, co-workers. Very good. Por cierto, ¿sabes qué significa co-worker, Kelly? Co-worker no. significa compañero de trabajo. Oh. Right? That's what it is. En este caso, con mis compañeros de trabajo. That's what it is. Okay, thank you, and let's move on. All right, let's take a look at this one, Tamara. Uh, who do they plan the marriage? Okay. They... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They... ¿Cómo se pronuncia? In invest investiga. Investigate. Investigate. They investigate the uh -huh. customer's needs. Okay, very good. Jesus Christ, what happened? Okay, great. So that's what happened in there. It says how... <laughs> Give me one second. This is an animal. Uh, it says how do they plan their marketing? Ah, como ellos planean el... What is marketing? What is marketing, guys? 
Y solo escucho el sonido de los grillos al fondo. Mm. You're sleeping, right? Mercadeo. <laughs> exactly. Mercadeo. You know, in this case, like, en... like publicidad, right? They... And Teacher, excuse me, they investigate the day. Uh, I don't get it. Give me one second. What do you say? They investigate the the customers need. <laughs> I was sleeping when I did this, man. So eliminate one day, okay? Okay. Ni siquiera me habían, ni siquiera había notado eso. Jesus Christ. Es que esas son pequeñas trampas que nos ponen para ver si... Ay, that's true, man, pero se me pasó por alto hasta eso decirlo. <laughs> There you go. Oh, my God. All right. They investigate the customer's needs. Ah, ellos investigan las necesidades de los clientes. Teacher, y así va dos veces. Di, ah, no, 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 di, di. only one. The thing is that. Ah. Lo que pasa es que como anoche estaba esperando las tareas y estaba durmiéndome, entonces así como que dije, ah, ah sí, sí, el siguiente. Y ahí I know what I, I believe. believe you. you. <laughs> yes, of course. Mejor que falte y no que, so, y que no, y que no, no, mejor que sobre y que no falte. Eso, exactly, exactly. Pero como acá tengo mis estudiantes bien despiertos para que me instruyan, right? When I make mistakes over there. Supongo, ¿verdad? Igual los que están con la cámara apagada, right? Siempre pendientes ahí. Nada de dormirse. <ríe> Correct. Y Fátima ya se escucha el fondo. Sleeping. <ríe> you see, y Ruth así, like, like, restregándose los ojos ya. <ríe> ¿Qué dijo, teacher? <ríe> oh, my God. No, 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 no. I know you're there, guys. Ok. Good. So in here, guys, what I have is just a short answer to those questions, right? Entonces, ahí tenemos una short answer para ese tipo de preguntas, right? Good. Hasta acá. Do you guys have any question? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta? ¿Duda? Something that you don't get it uh, like 100%. No, no, teacher. Ok, cool. Las preguntas van a surgir cuando estén en la actividad. Ah, las preguntas. No. <ríe> teacher, no la entendí. Así como que, what? Ok, ok. <ríe> no, no, no. It's just, it's just to distress you guys. Only, only my cat is studying in English. <ríe> <ríe> exactly, exactly. All right. This question is just referring to the time, guys. Y ya esta pregunta acá es para referirnos al tiempo. O sea, la hora en la que hacemos una actividad. Right? Dun, 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 dun. So, who's going to help me on this? Jesus, I don't have many people to choose from. So, Fatima, help me a reading, please. What time do you start working? Okay, very good. Now, what time do you start working? It's like, ah, mina, ¿qué horas comienzas a trabajar? Right? So, the answer, it says, I start working at 8 a.m. Ah, comienzo a trabajar a las 8 a las 8 a.m., right? It goes that way. Okay, good. The next question. Manuel. Hola, me escucha. Yes. Oh, yes. Eh, pues la pregunta, bueno, la oración es ahí. La pregunta número dos. Yeah. 
I start working at a, uh, no, the, second, the second question, Manuel. La que le sigue. Ah, uh, well. What time do you take a shower? <laughs> okay, very good. What time do you take a shower? <laughs> okay, there you go. Cuando, me acuerdo que cuando hice esta pregunta en un, en un grupo hace un par de meses atrás, en el mismo módulo que ustedes, right? Salió un compañerito diciendo, do you guys take a shower every day? Y yo así como que, ah. Diciendo así, ¿y ustedes se bañan todos los días? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that was funny. No sé si es que lo dijo de verdad, de verdad, o, o, o he was kidding. Era, era europeo, no era salvadoreño, era europeo. <laughs> He's from the, the, the France. Uh, France. <laughs> oh my God. No, es que, es que en, ciertas, en ciertas comunidades, no sé si se acuerdan, si eso, creo que ya se acabó eso, pero que en ciertas comunidades en San Salvador solía haber problemas de agua. Entonces se supone que él vivía en una zona de esas. Entonces él, él, él mismo hacía como el, el kind of, you know, like jokes or, or related to that. Entonces he was like just, just making, you know, like jokes on that. Ah, uh, that was funny. All right. It says, what time do you take a shower? I mean, I take a shower at 6 a.m. Recuerden, siempre que vayamos a colocar la hora de una actividad, Siempre antes de la hora tienen que llevar la preposición at, ¿ok? Regla, eso es una regla, que siempre que mencionemos una hora sobre una actividad vamos a colocar at antes de la hora a mencionar, ¿ok? Ok, great, guys. Now, Miren, no quiero que me hagan todas como estaba pensando Because of the time Necesito que, es que escojan una de estas WH words Y me creen una pregunta Please Quiero que me escriban un ejemplo de pregunta Utilizando cualquiera de estas que tengas acá ¿Ok? Let's go, guys. When you finish, let me know, ¿ok? Cuando terminen, me lo hacen saber. Please. Y me permiten un segundo que voy a traer agua. Please. En lo que ustedes desarrollen la pregunta. Give me one minute. All right, guys, I'm back. Do you finish? Terminaron? Yes. I Perfect. Finish. Vamos a esperar que los demás terminen, los que tienen la cámara apagada, please. Me lo hacen saber si han terminado con una manita aquí. Okay? Ya, yeah, y si por la zona donde ustedes viven ha llovido. No. No. No, no. I go, I go to the tea in this moment. Mm. 
All right. Now, teacher, only the sky, the sun is the cloud. Nah, it was cloudy. It's not raining. Ni estos right. días so, atrás tampoco. Uh, yeah, um, uh, yesterday and yesterday, the so rain, so much, much. Ah, it rained best. yesterday. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Sure. 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 Yeah. Sure. Sure. More or less, more or less. Hey, so so. Uh -huh. ah, me das... eh, today is only on, only the cool. Oh, do muchas nubes, muchas nubes. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Nublado, nublado. What do you say? Nublado in English. Cloudy, 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 cloudy. Mm, okay, okay, good. That's great, man. What is this? All right, perfect. Now, guys, let's continue. Uh, if everybody has already finished, vamos a leer entonces esas preguntas que tenemos ahí. So I'm going to start with uh, Kelly. Can you please help me reading your question? Todavía la estaba formulando porque no haya cuál poner. Pero tengo... <laughs> When are you coming home? Estaría bien. Eh, eh, Otra vez. When are you coming? When are you coming home? Si fuese. Cuando. Si fuese progresivo estaría correcto, pero como estamos siguiendo el patrón que hemos eh, puesto en tiempo present. Ya no sería where uh, or when are you coming, sino sería de este modo, mire, siguiendo la regla. When do you come? Uh, ah, pues, when do you come a home? Uh, y simple y sencillamente <risa> coloquemos acá, when do you come home? When, sí. when do you come home? Ah, ok. All Entonces, right. I come. I come a home this Saturday. I come home. I come home this Saturday. This Saturday. Ok. All right. Ok. Good. Thank you, Kelly. Now, uh, let me see Fatima Daniela. Hola. Eh, where do you walk in the park? No sé si está bien así. Repeat again. What, what do you walk in the park? You mean who? Sí. Básicamente la tiene así. Who do you walk so, in the park? Así. Yes. Perfect. Aquí solo agreguémosle una preposición más. Agréguele with. Para que diga con quién caminas en el parque. With. Ok. There you uh, go. Ok. Ok, perfect. Thank you, Fatima. Uh, Tamara. Read yours. Mm -hmm. No sé si también yo lo hice. Where is the bank? Sí, está bien, pero estamos usando el verbo to be y el verbo to be no va aplicado acá. Tienen que usar do y un verbo adicional, ¿ok? Está bien, la pregunta está bien, solo que ahí me ha usado el verbo to be, ¿ok? Entonces, cambia la cámara, ¿ok? Entonces bueno, sería, ¿Ahora? Entonces sería, where do, no sé, teacher. Siga la secuencia que hemos visto, los ejemplos y la, la regla, la estructura. Vuelvo con usted más tarde, a ver si ya me lo ha hecho y si no, le voy a ayudar a crear una, ¿ok? Ok, cool. Uh, Manuel. 
Read yours. Ok, ahorita. Vamos a leer una que dice, what time do you usually go to Bell? Ok, good. Inclusive me agregó una frequency word. Hmm. What time do you usually go to bed? Esa me suena a una que preguntamos hace unos días. No es la misma, ¿verdad? Hmm. Ese silencio es sospechoso. Bueno, como uno, uh, ese, silencio, ese silencio es sospechoso, Manuel. <laughs> what the when, where, why? No, that's okay. No, it's okay, Manuel. That's, that's a good question. Thank you, okay? I was kidding. Okay, bueno. okay good. Crisia. What do you actually go to bed? What do you need? Hey, what, <coughs> what do you I need? What time is it? Sí. Okay. ¿Qué hora es? I Podemos need usar aquí. Que... Usted dijo, what do you need, right? That's the question. Y mi respuesta es, I need money. I need money every day. <laughs> Todavía está como preguntándose, Crisia, que qué. <laughs> pues si usted preguntó, ¿qué necesita? Yo le dije, necesito dinero. <laughs> ok, good, good. Thank you, Crisia. Now, Norma. Read your question. Okay. And um, when do you practice English? Okay, very good. When do you practice English? Recuerde que ahí lo podemos poner también como una situación cuando se refiere a la respuesta, right? I practice English when I have time. Ah, practico inglés cuando tengo tiempo, right? Y ahí es una situación que cuando okay. tenemos tiempo libre, practicamos, right? Ok. Good. Thank you. Now, Ruth, read your example. Ruth, ¿se nos durmió? <laughs> hmm. Okay, so I guess she is not there. Okay, vamos a volver con ella más tarde. Ya, teacher, es que me cuesta activar el micrófono. Okay, yo pensé que ya estaba bien dormidita ahí en la cama. Ya casi. Okay, good. Hey, como que ya casi, nos falta media hora. Okay, no, let's jump on that. Read your example, please. When do you buy the fruit? The fruit. Fruit. The fruit. 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 Okay, very good. When do you buy the fruits? Okay, very good. Thank you, Ruth. Ah, uh, let me see. Patricia Gabriela. Yeah, she's missing. Creo que Patricia no tiene conectado el, el lado. No. Ok. Uh, Hazel, supongo que no puede. Gladys, igual. Darlene. Tampoco. Ok. Mauricio es no there. Moisés. ¿Are yours? Hi. Ah, <laughs> uh, let me see. Why does he play football? Why does he play football? All right, like American football or soccer? Football, I mean, I don't like either of them, so uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, you don't like soccer? No. I only like to study. Mm, ni le creo, boy. Ahorita lo vamos a sacar de la sala. Mm. Okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> It's not big deal, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Y el que le iba a decir, what is your favorite team? 
Pero no, ya veo que no. No, I don't have one. Pum, 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 I mean, I, I, I usually like the handball, but it was when I was a teenager, so it was like a long, long, long time ago. So you don't go to the stadium super fast? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. With respect, okay? So, bye. <laughs> okay, great. Now, Walter. Uh, hello. Hello, uh, hello. Rangers. Um, what do you have to do on the weekend? What do you have to do on the weekends? A pesar de que sea una pregunta un poco larga y obligatoria, but that's okay. That's okay. Y ahí estamos usando un semi-model board, de hecho. Have to. Uh, ok, but that's still ok. Good, thank okay. you. Ok, great. So, hey. Take care. So, yeah. Um, esa pregunta podría ser como, what plans do you have for weekend? Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. Sí, porque yeah. es que el have to lo hace como, como obligado. Like a man. Ajá. Uh ah, -huh. uh -huh. sí. Uh -huh. It's como, uh, okay, if I write it down here, it's like, what? Uh -huh. Give me a second. What? Like, you, you have to do something. <laughs> Next weekend, por ejemplo. Ah, ¿qué tienes que hacer al fin sí, de semana? Fin de semana. Right? It's como que. Like oh, an obligation. Obliga yeah. <laughs> so it's como que, I have to go to work. I um. Igual te así, I have to yeah, drink to go beer. To, yeah, 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 yes. <laughs> Because if he don't... That's a no. Next, 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 will, next da dancing, will be fired. Dancing, dancing every night, dancing the Saturday <laughs> night. <laughs> okay. <That's laughs> Invite us. That's your night coffee. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Okay. Great. The Monday, no, the sleeping, the parranda, the parranda. <laughs> Regretting about drinking one night before. <laughs> oh my What God. do you say, Goma English teacher? I'm going over. Goma. 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 <laughs> It doesn't have it to me, but I know that. <laughs> Arrepintiéndose de lo que hizo un día anterior, right? Pero siempre haciéndolo. <laughs> okay, good. Let me see. Who's missing? Uh, Julia? Yeah, I think Julia's missing. Hola. Uh, can you read your question example? Eh, um, este, permítame. Con what o cualquiera. Con cualquiera. Ah, oh, okay. Who is your teacher? Ah, uh, pero ahí, ah, pero ahí me estás utilizando el verbo to be. La pregunta está oh. correcta, pero tenemos que colocar el auxiliar do. Ok. Ah, entonces otra. Where does Oscar like? Where does, does Oscar, Oscar like? Lead. Lead. Ok. ¿Dónde vive Oscar, right? Sí. Ok. Ok. Sí, sería where does, where does Oscar live? Live. Ajá. All right, good. Recuerden que cuando usamos el verbo live y se pronuncia como live es cuando hablamos sobre una dirección o ubicación, o ubicación, right? Dirección. Y cuando lo mencionamos como live, ah, cuando hacemos una transmisión en vivo, ¿ok? Entonces ahí lo utilizamos como live, cuando transmitimos algo en vivo. Y cuando nos referimos a la ubicación o a habitar algo, ahí es live, ¿ok? That's just for you to take that into account, guys. Now, let me see. Dennis. Read yours, Dennis. Um, okay. My question is... Uh, when do we need this presentation? When do we need this presentation? Yes. Okay, very good. Nah, that's a good question. Thank you, Denise. All right, guys. I think everybody has already participated. Creo que todos lo hicieron. Así que 
I am going to stop in here. And let's go to work in the manual. Ahora bien, quiero que abran sus manuales. Right? On page 29. Page 29. 29. Yes. All right, guys. What are we going to do there? Como siempre, we're going to go over the breakout rooms. I'm going to send you to working pairs. Nos voy a mandar a trabajar en parejas. Ok, and I need you to fill this out. Quiero que llenen esta parte. Para, acá ustedes tienen las diferentes uh, departments that you got on a company. Y acá tienen ustedes la definición de cada uno de ellos. Quiero que me coloquen el número del department en la definición adecuada. Ok. In the definition correcta. So that's what you guys are going to do there. Okay. Eso vamos a hacer en la primera página. Luego van a bajar a la segunda parte. Okay. Y acá tenemos un modelo de preguntas que hemos estado practicando. Right. This part. So we're not going to do that again. Pero sí, quiero que bajemos acá. En la parte 5 dice. Create question based on the answers. Crear preguntas basadas en las respuestas. Entonces, ustedes tienen que leer cuidadosamente las respuestas para identificar cuál es la pregunta, ok, que van a elaborar. Dice la número uno, respuesta. I had to write a report about the production every Friday. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta entonces? ¿Con qué WH word yo podría comenzar la pregunta? Si la respuesta dice, I have to write a report about the production every Friday. What do you have? Um, what do you have this Friday? <laughs> mm, tiene lógica. It makes sense. What do you have to do every Friday? Podría ser. Ah, ¿qué tienes que hacer cada sábado? Right? Pero también... Pero también lo podemos poner. When. Listen. When. 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 when you, ok. Right. When do you write. Report. Vamos a mutear acá. When do you write a report about the production. Lo podemos poner así. When do you write a report about the production? Okay. Y ahí nos quedaría la pregunta, okay? Bueno, ya y con las demás ustedes continúan. All right. Do you guys understand what are you going to do? Entendimos lo que vamos a hacer? ¿Hay alguna pregunta? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. No, so, no, no question, teacher. Okay, excellent. Thank you, mister. So I am going to stop in here and I'm going to send you guys to work. Solo nada más para confirmar. Hazel, Gladys, ustedes no podrían participar, correcto? Oper, no tiene el audio conectado. Okay. Okay. Thank you for confirming me that. Okay, guys. Thank you. Ahora bien, I'm going to prepare the breakout rooms. Give me one second.
Okay, good. Let's open up your breakout rooms, guys, and let's go to work. Please try to enter to the breakout rooms. Uh, Ruth, do you have problems to get connected? Tiene problemas para conectarse al breakout room? Podría mandarme de nuevo la solicitud. Para... Ok, bueno, la voy a mover y luego la voy a devolver para ahí. Ahora sí. Thank you, Thank you. Okay. Ah, uh, Julia, what about you, Julia? Can you hear me? Hi, Fatima. I think Fatima not available for chat. Hi. Hola. <laughs> hola, hola. hola. Denis, ¿me escucha? Yes. ¿Me escucha? Sé que yes. no podía activar el micrófono. Sorry. Ok. Este, la primera parte ya, ya más o menos la hice, pero no sé si está bien así. Ok. Let me. Let me... Ok. Um... Let's we 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 check. ¿Verdad? Ajá. Y en la última by an archive raw materials. Sería el tres. Pushing el tres. Ajá. Entonces las preguntas está de la una bueno. Las respuestas están de la 1 a la 6. Y es, las respuestas están desordenadas. ¿Qué pasó ahí? Eh, en su texto de la derecha, Manuel, está, tiene que coincidir ese texto con los enunciados que tiene a su izquierda, en que están en negrita. Ahí dice uh -huh. producción. Entonces, si usted lee... La número cuatro, el texto de la izquierda, el cuatro dice uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Ahí dice control and supervise the production 
workforce and, and inventory. O Entonces sea que vamos a poner production control. No, ahí solo va a poner el número uno. Ah, el en número este uno. Top, ajá, porque eso es lo que hace congruencia. Tiene que ver que sea congruente el, la palabra de la izquierda con el texto de la derecha. Tiene que buscarlo según la lectura. Entonces... Eh, producción es el encargado de controlar, supervisar la producción y de llevar el inventario entonces es el número uno ahí y así sucesivamente Grecia, are you there? Sí Ah, ok <laughs> Sí, ya la terminé Ok, great Dame un lápiz Sería la parte, la otra que sí no entendí que es lo que se iba a hacer en la... En la... On which one? A part two? Ajá. La, sí, de la, siguiente, la siguiente página, parte cinco. Sí, ok, la... okay. you gotta read the, the sentences, tiene que leer las oraciones, porque uh -huh. de esas oraciones usted tiene que formular la pregunta, o sea que esas oraciones son la respuesta a la pregunta que usted va a crear. Ah... Uh... Ya, yeah, ahí por eso di el ejemplo de la, de, la, de la, cómo podría ir la pregunta número uno. O sea que la dos es, I work in the blue building. ¿Cómo sería la, el, la pregunta? En el edificio azul. Uh -huh. Trabajo en el edificio azul. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Ah, eh, when, no, where. Where do you work? Exactly. That's the question. Ahí tiene la pregunta. Ah. Where do you work? Where do you work? Very okay. And Maria and... Maria yo. Más o menos es como... Maria yo va. Nos vamos a... A María y yo, aquí vamos a ver. Ah. Comenzamos a trabajar a las 10 de la noche. What a, what a time. Ah. What, a, what a time working. What a time. Ah, sería what time. What time. Ajá, sería what time. Do they sería entonces what, sí, what porque... time do they do they start working ajá por ahí más o menos mm -hmm. exactamente exacto exacto hello teacher hello teacher hi hi estamos practicing I mean that's cool that's cool Estamos avanzando, avanzando. Deployer, es deployer. Es excelente. Démosle que nos faltan tres minutos, ¿ok? Para terminar. ¿Eh? Perfect. Y la otra dice: We design and others create the new production. Work. Hello. Hola, teacher. Hoy sí me puso con un experto, teacher. Ay, va a creer. <risa> Ahora sí. Presionado, no, digo... me siento. <risa> no le digo que sabe más que mí, pues sí. Ay. Moisés, cuando yo falte le voy a decir, ay, Moisés, compléteme la clase, le voy a decir. Ay, no puedo, le voy a decir. <risa> Ya está la una, nos falta. Y así, ¿cómo que no puedes? Una additional practice. No sabes, le voy. <risa> Ay, Ay, yo termino bien cansado, solo estudiando paso. Yes, I will be tired, man, so tired. You bueno, trabajo y estudio. <risa> you do a lot Cuesta, of sí. Uh -huh. That's me. Imagínense que a la par de, la cl de su clase estoy a veces conectado. En la otra clase, ¿verdad? Ya, 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 en el día de clase. Bien goloso, don Moisés, ¿verdad? 
No se conforma Ay, con estar en un curso, qué barbaridad. Exactly. Oh. No, y yo estoy esperando de parte también de Isafor, pero Excel, pero no lo quiero virtual, lo quiero presencial. Ay, Excel ah. está en chido, yo amo Excel. Sí, yo porque sí lo voy a necesitar. No le gusta el virtual. <risa> Excel me da tantos dolores de cabeza con las formas. Yo sé, yo sé hacer hasta macros. No, entonces ya lo tiene casi todos. Casi, Según... pero cuesta. Sí, ajá. No, yo estoy esperando que me avisen <ríe> eh, cuando haya una licitación por presencial, porque solo virtual están saliendo y así no me gustaría. Está para sacar promedios, <ríe> me queda dolor de cabeza en Excel y se supone que es sencillo. Oh my God. No, no Excel es el Dios. Ya, yes, o sea, sí me va a hacer falta en el trabajo. Ay, no. <risa> Vaya, la última, Moses. They have a meeting because <risa> ellos tienen no sé qué. Una reunión. Que nosotros tenemos un que hablar. de entradas y salidas, está hablando. Ay. Una reunión. Nosotros tenemos reunión sí. porque tenemos que hablar sobre entradas y salidas. Sobre las entradas y las salidas. Vaya, vale, quiero ver. Entonces la pregunta. Uh, I think is the question, uh, when do you start working? Because the answer is, María... And I start working at 10 p.m. Sí. Me, me hace más sentido que sea cuando comienzas a trabajar. Ajá. When do you start working? ¿Cuándo comienzas a trabajar? Pero esa pregunta también tiene un doble sentido porque cuando comienzas a trabajar es, no sé, eh, bueno, pero es que basado en la respuesta, es, 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 es esa la pregunta que me, que me surge, pero... Um, what do you think, teacher? Uh, what, uh, on which one are you talking about? Jesus the, Christ, I was looking sentences, at Sentences number three. Uh -huh. Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. Uh -huh. In this case, I think the question is... When do you start working? No, porque estamos hablando de una hora. Ok. Entonces sería, comenzaría con what, what time. Ah, what time? Yo lo pondría. What time do... Listen. What time do Maria and you... Maria and you start working. Start working. What time do Maria and you start working? ¿Por qué lo pondría así? Porque es como que, ¿a qué horas Maria y tú comienzan a trabajar? Ok. Ah, entonces ahí diría usted, a I mí, mean, Maria and I, Maria y yo, Start working at 10 p.m. Comenzamos a trabajar a las 10 p.m. Very late. <laughs> Super late, by the way, man. 10 p.m. But anyways, guys. Supongo que todavía les faltan la, las demás. Correcto. Sí, nos faltan, nos faltan dos todavía las últimas dos. Horas. Bueno, pero por motivos de tiempo lo vamos a dejar hasta acá. Vamos a regresar a la sala principal y vamos a revisar esa parte, ¿ok? Ok. All right. See you there, guys. See you.
Okay. All right. So, I guess everybody's just coming back in here. Guys, before we go, let's try to check what you did, okay? Vamos a revisar lo que hicieron antes de irnos. Okay? So, related to this part, esta la tenían un, un, un tanto um, sencillo. Porque ya habíamos visto esta serie de actividades, bueno, de, 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 de definiciones y conceptos, right? Number one, production. ¿En cuál lo pusieron? Um, Ajá. Production in four. Control and supervise the production workforce and, in, and inventory. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. It goes there. Very good. Then it says research and development. ¿Dónde pusieron ese? Five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Develop, design, new, or improve existing products or processes? Yes. All right. Okay, good. Purchasing? And six. La, la tres, la, la three, um, five. Okay, okay. Buy and acquire mm -hmm. raw materials, right? La, la three is la... For the use of the organization. Okay. Now... For time. Okay. Number five. And know number four. Marketing. Uh, one. Okay, good. Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Okay, good. Uh, number five. Human resources management. Two. Uh, two. two. Okay, excellent. Number two. And uh, accounting and finance. Three. Three. Okay, excellent. Very good. Now, let's jump onto, onto the other one. Uh, before we go, we're going to check that, okay? Okay, so the question on here, guys, it says the answer. I had to write a report about the production every Friday. Entonces, acá, en la pregunta, yo le podría poner when, oops, when do you write a report about the production okay y ahí estaría mi pregunta okay now the second one dice la respuesta i work in the blue building cómo sería la pregunta where do you work excellent where do you work Donde trabajas, right? Very good. Number three says, Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? What time they start working? Okay. What time do they? Podemos colocar they, okay. They, o también podemos colocar esto. What time do Maria and you start working? ¿Ok? ¿A qué horas Maria y tú comienzan a trabajar? Podemos ponerlo de ese modo también, ¿ok? Good. Now, number four. La respuesta dice, we design and others create a new product. ¿Qué sería ahí entonces? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Nosotros diseñamos... Ah, no les entendí. Ah, give me one second. ¿Podrían leérmelo de nuevo, por favor? How, how do we... At work. All right. O oh, también lo podemos poner así, mire. Who? Wow. Three 
Para, pero si decimos who, sería como who create a new product. Oh. ¿Quién crea el nuevo producto? Lo vamos a poner. No sé nada. Vamos a ver. Eh, Crisia. ¿Qué, tienen usted, ¿Qué tenían ustedes? I need to know what is the possible answer, the question that you have. En esa nos quedamos, teacher. <laughs> Hoy, por ahí hablando de Juan Moises. Y nos regresó obligadamente. <laughs> Hello, sorry. What? <laughs> What do you have on number four? On oh, number four? Yeah. No, it was the last one that we were discussing. I mean, but, um, well, with the number four is, we just sign it on, there's creating a product. What do you, what do you do, guys, what, what do you guys do in your work? <laughs> yeah, listen, parece broma, pero eso la, lo van a colocar así. What do you, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Vamos a poner how do you, listen up, how do you, ¿cuál es el verbo ahí? How do you, how do you guys do, do, okay. how do you guys do, your work, para aprender inglés, no, sorry, Are you sure, Moises? At what? Entonces lo vamos a poner como dice usted. What? Give me. No. Oh, At, let me see. Así es como usted dijo. What do you guys do in your work? I guess so. I mean. All right. So in this case, basically. Podríamos ponerlo así o también lo podríamos poner con How do you design and create the new mm. product? Mm. I don't think so. Why not? Because the answer is not giving you a real answer to that question. Or, or not a real answer, but uh, it's a little bit bad, yeah. But in a somehow, maybe it could be <laughs> both questions can be possible, okay. All right, it's a little bit tricky. That one, huh. no, the tricky one is the last one. <laughs> Why, okay, <laughs> because it says, it's... Vamos a ver la ultima dice, they have a meeting because we have to talk about the influence exactly. <laughs> no, but that's easy. I know, right? But I mean, I was thinking a lot of, with this long answer, and the question is just why do they have a meeting? Exactly. Why do <laughs> Bye. They have a meeting? <laughs> okay, good, good. Esa sería la, res la pregunta para esa respuesta. Why do they have a meeting? ¿Por qué tienen una reunión? Right? So in that case, it's like ah, they have a meeting because. We've got to talk about the inflows and outflows. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna stop sharing uh, in here because I have stolen a lot of time to you. Okay, give me one second, what did I do? Okay, now I'm gonna start with uh, the attendance list, guys. Ten, 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 ten. Give me one second before we go. Now, let's say, darling Jasmine, I am, she's there, but she's sick. David is not here. Uh, Dennis Adonai. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Fatima Daniela. Present teacher. Excellent. Patricia Gabriela. She's not here. Herbert Vidal, eh, no se pudo conectar. Gladys Teresita. Ok, good. José Roberto. He never appeared. Juana Hazel. Ok, good. 
Uh, Julia Janira. Present. Okay, good. Thank you. Kelly Marcela. Present. Okay, excellent. Crisia Vanessa. Crisia. I mean, she's there, but she got the camera off. Ah, yeah. Okay. Ya la vi, Crisia. Manuel Jose. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Marvin Obed. Marvin a veces se comienza a conectar. Pasa hasta 20, 30, 40 minutos y nunca se puede conectar. Está raro eso. That's weird. Mm. Ah, Mauricio Giovanni. All right, so he's working. Miguel Ángel. No volvió a aparecer Miguel Ángel. Moisés Alberto. Not here. <laughs> Natalie Andrea. All right, so she got something to do today, I guess. Norma Maritza. Present. Okay, great. Ruth Noemi. And Ruth went to sleep. Tamara Lisette. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Walter Antonio. Present, teacher. Great. And right, right. William Alexander, which is not here. All right, guys. Thank you for staying. All right, this a couple of extra minutes right after 10. I really appreciate that. And I hope, guys, you have a wonderful weekend, okay? Espero que tengan un excelente fin de semana y nos vemos el lunes, okay? No olviden de hacer la, la tarea 11. <laughs> este fin de semana. Bye. Bye, bye, guys. Bye, bye. Bye, everybody. See you. All right, so basically uh, tonight we were discussing the uses of information questions, right? So it was like the formation, how to create those kind of questions. Tomorrow we will continue with the uses of, uh, you know, like, questions using the WH words, okay? So that it's going to be part of what we are going to do the next uh, video conference. So that's it for tonight, all right? So see you the next time.